Alright, today people are going to be reacting to Dream talking with these two fine people. So let's go ahead and take a look. I was a terrible kid. It was the end of the world. This was my life. That's so dangerous. I was- Why is he still wearing a fucking face mask? We already know what he looks like. So by, he should be comfortable with himself by now. It's just fucking- he's, he's psychologically got something going on. I don't understand him sometimes. So addicted. Explain Dream to me. He's a gamer who's hit his face. There must be a reason. Is there a moment when lots of money starts coming in? Yes. Holy I think it's because Dream was insecure. He thought, he thought himself was like an ugly person. And he just looks normal, so I don't know what the fuck his deal is. In one month? Oh my god, dude. And then I edited in a way where I cut things in almost like a misleading way. How strategic of a marketer are you? Do you regret the face reveal? It's hard to spend time on YouTube and not hear Dream's name or see his iconic smiley face. He has over 30 million subscribers, and some of his videos have upwards of 100 million views. Now, he grew through telling stories on Minecraft, playing the game live, and then editing those videos into cinematic stories. While he was getting incredibly famous, he also remained incredibly mysterious. He never showed his face until 2022 when he decided to do a face reveal. Now, this was a moment that took over the internet. Over 40 million people watched as he revealed his face for the first time. Six months into 2023. I don't know why people have such a big deal about a fucking face. Everyone's got a face. There's nothing special about it. You know what I'm saying? It's just a normal fucking thing. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. This is my opinion. Dream announced that he's putting the mask back on which obviously made Colin and I incredibly curious. He's also embarking into a career in music and is recently signed to Republic Records, which is a record label that also represents the Jonas Brothers, Ariana Grande, and Bo Burnham. We talked to him about his origin story and dive deep into his childhood to get an understanding of how he became one of the biggest creators of our generation. And as you'll see in the interview, one of the best marketing minds on the internet. I've, I've seen some of his videos and actually they're pretty good in terms of the storyline to him. Uh, and uh, the, the whole time, obviously, the, the mask has been a massive part of like everything I've done. And I never actually planned to not show my face. Like I just started as a faceless creator because of the fact that I never really showed my face online. Uh, I don't know. You know. There's probably a ton of reasons for that, but I just never really had. And I didn't have social media, actually. I didn't, I didn't have a Twitter. I didn't have Facebook. I didn't have Instagram. I had like nothing before I, I started YouTube. And so I, I just happened to not really have many pictures of me on any of my, or no pictures of me on any of my stuff. Mm. And then fans took that. So he had no social media at all. He just had a YouTube channel. So they knew him for YouTube. That's it. Interesting. And we're like, oh my God, he's like faceless. And they started drawing fan art of me in a mask. And then I got sent a mask to my PO box. And I was like, that's so sick. So it really was like made by the fans, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I never wanted to lose that because that, that be, to me, the mask became the meaning behind like, Anyone can be dream like any you, anyone mm. can succeed and can do anything they want. Um, and because of the fact that no one knew what I looked like or kind of like who I was. And, and that was something that I was like, you could look up to that kind of like I, I saw a quote from uh, Stan Lee about Spider-Man um, a long time ago. That was very similar. I don't want to compare myself to a superhero. Oh, I'm a super, superhero yeah, dream. Yeah. But like it was it was inspiring in that he said like he wanted. Yo, let's just, just take a, covered take from a head second. To toe. Um, because he wanted anyone, you know, no matter their race or, or religion or wherever they're from to be able to be like, I could be Spider-Man. And so I kind of related to that and that I, I, I always wear, I always wore gloves in all my photos. And I always did this guy everything has, like as it became. This guy has so many bracelets. He has like 500 bracelets on his hands. How does his hands not get heavy? Like, oh my God, oh, my hands would be aching if I had that many bracelets on my wrists. More of a part of kind of my image as, as Dream um, to kind of have that of like, you can be Dream. Maybe that that's like his workout. He just does some curls with his arms, his forearms, and his biceps get massive because of all those beads he's carrying around. And any, anyone can be Dream and, and do what they want. And then I did the face reveal and um, uh, this specialty mask that was made by an awesome company that did like a lot of the superhero masks. Yeah. Um, and was Daft being, Punk too, right? Yeah, Daft, Daft Punk, Punk and like, mm -hmm. they, they, yeah. done, they did Marshmallow, they, they yeah. did a bunch of outside of superheroes as well. Yeah. Basically, they do like all the all the, the awesome mm -hmm. masks. Um, they were working on it and we were, we were kind of going back and forth for a really long time. And I, I always planned on, uh, you know, keeping the mask and, and wearing it, not not wearing it all the time, you know, but wearing it and making sure that it, I, when I was dream, you know, I, I really envisioned that I, I really kept that that image and that meaning behind it, because I feel like that's such an inspiring message to, to kids and to any everyone that watches dream and kind of knows who I am. He's like two personalities. He has like a normal down to earth person and he has his dream like fantasy world character. It's definitely, yeah. And inspires you to always smile and kind of all, yeah. all those things behind it. And then it took a lot longer to kind of have it made. And so after a long period of time, I was like, oh God, 
now it's weird if I just start wearing it randomly, like to certain events and whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, but then he started showing his face a lot more and you could tell that over the, the course of the videos, you know, it was just very interesting. How can I, how can I actually give a reason, you know, within like the dream lore and the, and the reason behind everything as to, you know, actually make it make sense why I'm introducing it again and why it's why, no, it is a part of who I am and this is why it is. And so I thought, what's, do you guys think if he wasn't like a massive YouTuber, would he continue doing this stream stuff or would he just like say, fuck it, you know, I'm done. Like, what do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. Kind of a bigger news than deleting the face reveal and being like, hey, I'm putting, I'm putting yeah. the mask back on to solidify that. So is it more about the brand of dream than it is about what it was like personally not having the mask dealing with fame so do you think he puts the mask on not to do with people so he can just live his life and not have to be bugged because mr beast hates his life because he's bugged so much i mean it's it's much more about the meaning behind the mask i mean yeah, it, yeah obviously that goes into the branding and stuff but it, it's it's so much more about what the mask means to me and how, how it felt when i was wearing it before and how, what i thought uh, in terms of the inspiration for other people um, and I think it's because he respects his fans and his subscribers, and that will definitely like show. They'll be like, "Oh wow, they he used my design for his facial fucking mask thing. That's pretty cool, you know." So I feel like it's more of a respect thing, and he probably feels comfortable hiding behind that mask as well, you know. So he doesn't got to show his his face, and he, so he can say whatever he wants without any real criticism. Obviously, I saw a lot of people, you know, you know, directed to it. Obviously, there was a lot of stuff whenever I did the face reveal with like Dream was Ugly was trending and other yeah, stuff. Yeah. But I, no, did, they, I talked, they just did that to a troll. They weren't, that was not actually truthful. Or whatever. And the video had 50 million views and it had, uh, there was a lot of, there's so many positive comments and I, I've never gotten more support whenever that happened as well. And so I think that I'm, I have a very like healthy relationship with what I look like and, and being like, hey, I'm happy. Okay, let's just stop this real quick just to go over my sponsor. So are you feeling like sad and depressed? Well, guess what? Get out some, get some fresh air, get some good food and then go for a jog. I'm not really sponsored. Fuck you. Let's get back to the video. With how I look and I don't, you know, I, I, I kind of the image I've always wanted to spread is like that you should just be yourself and not care. And so that I think it goes a little bit against that to be like, no guys, I'm ugly. So I'm hiding my face. Like <laughs> yeah. um, that was obviously if you, if you watch my video, I did on it, the buy from dream video. Mm -hmm. It's satire. I mean, you can you can tell if you're watching. It's my sure. friend, my roommate's bursting and going, you're ugly, put the mask back on. I can't tell if it's either he's just being sarcastic or he's insecure or he just is both, maybe. Like, you need to yeah. you need to cover that face, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, but surprisingly, that video spread like wildfire, but not the actual video itself, but like the headline, because the headline is so catchy of like. Yeah. Yeah, because if you put ugly, everyone's like, oh my God. But if you put like, you know, looking good, everyone's like, it might look, you know. Like everyone likes to, likes to look at the negative over the positive, usually. Dream gets hate and deletes face reveal. Sometimes it just works out where you have something like that that mm. pops up and you're like, so perfect. That's something that I, I've been curious about you for a while of like, is it just that things kind of fall into place or how strategic of like a marketer are you? You know, because like- He's very good. If he can tell stories, he can do marketing. Internet campaigns I've ever seen. Like people reacting to your face prior to it. Yeah. And- you know, there was part of me that was trying to understand, like, is this is, is the face reveal specifically, is this a guy who really just wants to live life and, you know, be unrestricted? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, he can't be bugged. Hang out with his friends, go out in yeah. public, uh, make IRL content. Or is this really one of the sharpest marketing campaigns I've ever seen? And, and, or is it a mix? Yeah. So I, I think, I think the completely like honest answer is that it's almost always a mix. Like I, I yeah. feel like, um, I, I've always, I've always really lived by the quote that the best. I told you his mind was mixed up. Doesn't feel he has like, like two personalities yeah. going on. And so because I've always like lived by that and been like, that is, that is my thing. If there's ever an opportunity where I go, I, I see something, even if it's like a last minute thing that wasn't a part of the plan, but I can make it seem like mm. it's somehow connected or whatever, then I'll always jump at that. Cause I go that it feels the most natural because it, it is the most natural because it is something yeah. I didn't plan or it is something I didn't, whatever. It's like. I didn't for the long, I, I wasn't going, Oh, I'm going, you know, when I face reveal, I'm going to do this. I'm going to have these reaction videos. Um, but what happened was I, I, I did a, I did the, I did the first one with George. Cause I, I always promised him, Hey, I'll show you my face as soon as your visa George no, unknown. Yeah. My visa's approved. I'm able to come cause he was going to move to America uh, with, with me. So I was mm -hmm. like, oh, awesome. I'll show you my face. That guy, you all know this guy, George unknown moved from the UK to USA. And now he lives with like Cole Jacobs and like Sasquatch, where his face is and all those guys. Face as soon as I'm, he was like, 
He hasn't seen my face. He was one of my best friends for like 10 years. He had that's never crazy. seen my face. That, that's a wild thing. He was always yeah. asking for like the first like five years. And then the next like five years, he was saying, like, I, I was saying, like, I was like, uh, do you want to see? And I, I was willing to show him because some of my other friends had seen. And he was like, no, at this point, I don't want to be spoiled. He's acting like he's showing him some private parts instead of his face. Like, you want to see, man? It's like, dude, just show your fucking face like everyone else. You're good. But then I do resonate yeah, with him. You know, how he reacted and everything. When he said um, he doesn't want to be really bugged in public, realize, like, I wow, understand that. To, even to me, who knows what I look like, it was just kind of so intriguing to, I didn't know how he was going to react. I was like, it's, you're just seeing your friend. Like, how do you react? It's just a guy that you've known for 10 years. You've never seen. Yeah. And to me, it, it, seeing his, seeing his face, seeing what he said, seeing the way he described me, seeing that really made it interesting to me. And I was like, wow, I feel like that probably is just interesting to everyone else. And so I was like, I want to do that for everyone. And so I started reaching out to my friends. And then as soon as I did that, I was like, why just my friends? I'm not, I you know, I think it's pretty cool that, you know, everyone got to see Dream eventually. And, you know, after 10 years of not knowing what he looked like, I mean, it, and, and to most people, they didn't really care. But I think most of the reactions to Dream, like, whoa, whoa, was, it was more like, you know, a little bit over amped. I think that they, they kind of faked it, you know, to get more views and stuff. I, mean, I think, I'm sure they're going to be like, well, yeah, wow, that's okay. That's what you look like. Because when I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. But it was like, uh, like, you know how most people do things these days. Like, I think YouTubers and social media creators, they need to just be more genuine. That's just my opinion. But, I mean, if you guys appreciated this video, my react videos, let me know in the comment section. Uh, let me also know what you think about the dream reveal when you first saw dream. And it was like, holy shit, man. This guy actually is fucking looking like a real person. Like, he doesn't look like a robot or some shit. You know? And also, if you're a new subscriber as well. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next video.